Hey guys, I'm here with Naomi, and we're here with Bailey's litter of mini Aussie Doodles. She had beautiful puppies, she had lots of Merles to choose from. We're so excited about this litter, they're super cute. Yeah, hi. So Naomi today is going to go through the 10 point um, touch training with you. She's going to show you kind of how she does it and she's going to tell you um, the puppy's names as she goes along. This is Crew. He is a chocolate tri. Beautiful markings. So I tugged on his ears, closed his eyes. I'll open his mouth and feel around. This just gets him familiar with um, things I'll encounter down the road, brushing their teeth, getting brushed. Um, just being handled. That way when you come to pick your puppy up, they will be used to being handled and be ready um, to encounter new things in life and be more comfortable. Um, with that, we tug on the collar here. That way once we get them into um, where they wear the collar and get them into leash training, they will be comfortable um, with that. And we tap them on their nose. A beautiful way back on, aren't you? We are super excited about this litter here. Um, Bailey is um, a Australian Shepherd. She is a smart girl. Uh, got beautiful blue eyes on her. Uh, passes that on down to her puppies here. Let's see who we have here. This here is Apollo. He is a blue girl boy. Puppy, we have got lots of merles here. I believe we've got two red merles and two or three blue merles. Is it two blue merles? Anything here? Good job. And um, this um, 10 point uh, program that we do on these puppies, um, I believe is amazing. It just um, helps them get used to being handled different ways and one of the most powerful things I've noticed is um, as simple as this little step seems here with tapping their nails. When I go to use the grinder on their nails um, when they're older, it's amazing how they, well they do with that. So I definitely think um, these simple 10 steps that we do um, do make a great big difference. Okay. Yes, they do. Yeah, you're all done. The next puppy here. Who are you? Are you Miss Gracie? I think you are. Are you Miss Gracie? Oh, my goodness. Here comes Miss Gracie. There you go. Good girl. Gracie has an amazing hair coat already at this very young age. Where you can pick from. Comes Miss Poppy. There you go, Joey. You can do Miss um, Roxy while I do Poppy. She's got a collar on. Poppy here is a red Merle girl. And then Joey has Miss Roxy here. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say Poppy? Oh, I get you mixed up with 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 Amber's red Merle girl. You're Miss Abby, aren't you? Miss Abby has two beautiful blue eyes here. So if you are looking for a red Merle girl with blue eyes, Miss Abby here is the girl for you. Hi, I'm 
smell your pretty too. You are. She's got a really nice cut out also. Take your little tail there. Yeah, I'll take your little tail there. Hi. Abby is a laid back girl. She is also a bloomer girl. She is a little smaller than um, Gracie here, and uh, she also has less weight. I'll get that collar on you. Oh, what's you saying? addition to your family. Um, they love being with people, so they are definitely not a puppy to take home and stick in the crate. If you have kids, these guys love kids, don't you? They love to run and play. Um, so uh, they definitely are a great family dog. They're very loyal, super smart, easily trained, see the difference here these this is a hue of blue and this is almost a chocolatey blue if you are looking for a girl with um, some spunk this one right here we'll fit the bill come to you you will Stimulations, but mostly he was on that mild 